when the church is living or enjoying freedom, it's very easy to love the Lord. It's very easy to speak about the Lord because everything is easy. I have, I have the full right to say whatever without anyone stopping me. I can preach inside, outside, on the roof, in the street, anywhere. I've got freedom. The government is not telling me nothing. So when you come in good days of enjoying freedom, and then you start preaching so eloquently about the Lord Jesus, well, that is not an effort. But when are you going to really prove that you belong to Jesus Christ? When that freedom is taken away from you. The narrow door, not the white gate, the narrow door. Now, when I speak about the church, I'm one of the leaders, so I'm talking about myself. So if anybody says you're judging, I'm not. I'm talking about myself, my dear friend. I'm not judging. If you're going to tell me that today the church is seeking Christ, I'll say to you, you're lying. It's seeking its own glory, yes. It's seeking its own thrones, yes. It's seeking its own image, yes, but not Christ. And I'm talking in general. There are still wonderful clergymen, absolute saints. There are priests, bishops, cardinals, and some popes, not all, but some, absolutely magnificent. But in general, those clergymen that want to promote Christ, not promote, that is not the, it's a weak sort of illustration. Those who want to serve the Lord from the heart, those who want to go and embrace the entire world and bring it to the world, to the Lord, they are not given the opportunity by their hierarchies. Don't talk too much about Jesus Christ. Listen, you're going to cause us a lot of trouble, right? And you're going to make the members upset. So stop talking about Jesus. Make it short. Your sermon, no more than 10 minutes. It's a drive through service. Okay? Half an hour. 15 minutes, enough, let them go. What? In heaven, there is no Catholics Orthodox. There is children of God that belong to Christ. Don't ever think you're going to be Catholic up there or Orthodox up there. Please get it out of your head.